Pua and Meliana's journey home is a result of the dedicated efforts of a big team of people, from volunteers to veterinarians to government specialists, all working um, to save the Hawaiian monk then, seal. Uh, Hawaiian monk seals are among the world's most endangered wildlife species. Found only in the Hawaiian archipelago, it's estimated there are only about 1,100 left in the wild. Pua and Meliana's long and arduous journey begins shortly after birth. These two animals, uh, Pua Ena Okekai and Meliana, they've been with us for five months. When they came in, they were about five months old. Um, and we've seen a lot of change in the animals. They were really malnourished. Um, uh, Mele, she was only 18 kilograms, so that's really about birth weight, and she was five months old. And uh, Pua, she was 24 kilograms. After surviving a long ship ride from the northwestern Hawaiian Islands, Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument, they arrived at the new Keikaiola Hawaiian Monk Seal Care Facility in Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. Operated by the Marine Mammal Center, here they began receiving around the clock tender loving care. The fact that we're able to have a place where we can, um, where we can bring um, injured or uh, sick um, Hawaiian monk seals is, is a wonderful one. Um, so we, we work alongside with the NOAA biologists, with uh, volunteers, nonprofits that are also on the island, and it takes uh, the entire village to make sure that we can, um, that we can fundraise, that we can provide the, uh, the care that they need. Um, one of the reasons that the Marine Mammal Center is able to help to provide this care is, is due to the 40 years of experience in, in um, rehabilitating similar species such as elephant seals. And, um, um, and so we, it is wonderful to be able to apply that knowledge to a critically endangered species yeah. like the monk seal. Pua and Meliana are the fifth and sixth Hawaiian monk seals to be nursed back to health at this special facility designed specifically to care for them. Reintroducing animals that we've cared for into the wild is the reason that I get up in the morning. It is the most fulfilling aspect of the work that we do and it makes every long day, every discomfort, every month away from home, um, absolutely worthwhile. And it is, a, it is also rewarding because the things that we do are challenging to all of us. And, and I think that a lot of times it, it is the kind of thing where you know, we're, we're constantly striving to do our best and everyone is always putting their absolute best effort forward. And to be able to see something all the way through like this is just, I can't even describe it in words. It's so rewarding. Today is moving day, the beginning of the long and varied journey home. Many of the volunteers who participated in Pua and Melly's recovery are here to help herd them into large cages, load them onto trucks for the short drive to the Kona airport. On the tarmac, a U.S. Coast Guard C-130 waits. It will take them on the next leg of their journey to Midway Atoll. Their cages are moved to Midway's boathouse, where NOAA specialists keep an eye on them 24 hours a day. Dr. Michelle Barbieri, a conservation veterinarian who works jointly for NOAA and the Marine Mammal Center, actually spent the first night on Midway camping out with Pua and Melly. It is a time that can be stressful for them. And that's actually one of the reasons that I'm here with the animals. I'm here to make sure that they have everything they need as far as comfort and that we're able to monitor them and really detect any signs of stress or discomfort early so that we can intervene however we need to. Midway is a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service managed wildlife refuge and is the center of action for everything that happens in Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument and the northwestern Hawaiian Islands. It has the dock and loading facilities for goods and services and monk seals like Pua and Mele. So the animals will be leaving tomorrow evening and they're going to head out to Kiri Atoll. So it should be an overnight trip for them on the ship. Once safely on deck of the private supply vessel, the Kahana, the seals and their caretakers sail for remote Kiri Atoll, the northwesternmost island in the entire Hawaiian chain. Again, around the clock watches from the NOAA folks and volunteers. They make the rough open ocean crossing with no trouble. And for the last leg of Pua and Melly's journey home, the seals are placed into large dog carriers, lifted off deck by a crane, and put into a small boat for a rugged trip through a fringing reef and onto Curie. The single interventions that you can do for an individual animal 
really can make a difference. Uh, the trickle-down effects, not just of recovering and saving one individual, but of um, the reproductive future of that individual seal will really have population impacts. And I think that it's important for folks to know that the things that we do for what seems like a very small number of animals can actually really contribute to population recovery. In addition okay. to moving the seals, their supplies and fencing for a temporary pen, field camp workers on this state of Hawaii wildlife refuge also unload supplies for new campers and offload supplies for volunteers returning to the main Hawaiian Islands after six month long stints on Kure. The focus on this day, however, is getting Pua and Meli situated on the place where in a few days they will be released back to their natural environment. The release will be a several day process. They're going to be put into what we call a beach pen, which is just a small area that's enclosed to um, really prevent them from going anywhere outside the atoll. What we want to do is give them a chance to reacclimate to their new home, in a sense kind of reset any little internal compass that might need that and give them a chance to calm down and, and adjust to their new surroundings. And that will last somewhere between two and four days depending on how they're doing. Uh, I will be in touch with the team that's at Curie from DLNR and they'll be in communication letting me know how the animals are doing. They'll also be giving them fish while they're there and making sure that they're provided for as far as having shade, water, um, food, and um, making sure that the beach pen stays intact. Once in their pen, they're given new tags to help scientists track them. This is in addition to temporary satellite tracking devices that they received back at the hospital. Information about the movements and behaviors of Hawaiian monk seals helps researchers develop recommendations for recovery plans and the management of this critically endangered species. For Pua and Mele, a return to Curie means a second chance at life. It's the sort of thing that elicits deep emotions from the people who've cared for them over the past six months, and is a testament to how man's relationship with wild creatures is one that enriches us all. Again, we weren't even sure that they were going to make it to the hospital alive and being able to bring them back home, because <laughs> this is their home, and being able to bring them back home um, and watch them be able to swim off is pretty special. Mm -hmm.